In the boron deficient soils of Missouri, a splash of the micronutrient can make all the difference for a crop. Research at the University of Missouri Bond Life Sciences Center has shed light on its vital role in plant development. All of the organs in the plant, such as the tassel and ear, come from the growing points, which is where the stem cells are. And what we discovered is that boron plays an important role in the stem cells in enabling the growing points to keep growing. McSteen's lab studied a tasselless corn plant that struggles to make tassels and ears. Tests link this mutant's problems to a mutated gene that normally allows plant cells to take up boron. The African clawed frog was used to confirm the gene's function. Frog eggs are a popular system to use for these kinds of studies because they are big and easy to work with, and they don't have a cell wall like a plant cell, so they are easy to inject with material that you want to study. What we inject is genetic uh, information from corn to allow the frog egg to make the protein that we are interested in in large numbers, and that's how we can measure the activity of a protein even if the signal is very small in the native cell. Boron deficient soil plagues many fields in Missouri and much of the eastern half of the United States and can reduce corn and soybean yields. Understanding more about boron's role in plants could address this problem. Overall in the field, this research is being used to create plants that can grow better in boron deficient soils or withstand boron toxic soils. In my lab, we're particularly excited about discovering the additional roles of boron in the stem cells prior to cell collapse. For the Bond Life Sciences Center, I'm Roger Meissen.